The site that was focused on with this design project was Bruntwood's West One Courtyard, based in the centre of Leeds. Bruntwood is a thriving company with over 145 properties in the UK. It is a company well known for changing with growth whilst keeping business fun and unique. Providing virtual office space, outdoor office space, modern retail space and apartments, Bruntwood really focuses on its business being a place to thrive. The brief that was given was to recreate West One's courtyard to transform it into a multi-use space which develops connections between the inside and out. Its aim was to inject green infrastructure and create fun event space whilst also maintaining public access. The site was used as far back as the 1850s when it was manufacturing area for iron and cloth, important industries in Leeds past. The site is next to Leeds Railway and was an important aspect of Leeds' role in the Industrial Revolution. The site remained this way until the 1950s when it becomes a space largely designated to warehouses. Fast forward 30 years to the 1980s and we can see how it's transformed into the West One building that stands there today. Big changes over that period are the increase of motor vehicles requiring a greater need for car parking space on and around the site and the slow dismantling of the railway which now has been built over. The site is comprised of two Bruntwood buildings, a multi-storey car park and castle house. All the buildings, floorscape and hard material that make up the raised bed planters and retaining walls are all dominated by red brick. This creates a very enclosed feeling to the courtyard. The sharp edges and lines of the raised planters mimic that of the building and it's overwhelming and hard to relax in the space. In regards to the street furniture, there is a lack of seating, making a feeling of being rushed through the site and not welcomed to enjoy the space. My design takes away from sharp lines and edges and flips to feature curves and circles. The inspiration for this came from two artists, one of which was the Brazilian landscape architect, Burl Marx. His work had great influence on tropical garden design in the 20th century and much of his work has a sense of timelessness. He preferred to work on public spaces. In his words, they are able to provide dignity for the masses. What I've taken from his work is his organic use of curves and soft edges. His use of hard landscape materials gives the space that he transforms a unique funky edge. Secondly, I take inspiration from Jim Denovan, a land artist who creates temporary land art. He works with natural materials to create massive scale drawings in sand, ice and soil. His sculptures are not placed in the landscape, rather the landscape is the means for their creation. I found the scale of his work combined with the repetition and the fluidity that his circles create makes stunning and inspiring pieces of work that could be applied to my design. My design is based around circles, influenced largely by Denovan's work. Circles signify well-roundedness and completeness, suggesting the unity and harmony in the space. By incorporating this into my design, I hope to bring the feeling of calm and peace, allowing the user to unwind and relax. A major aspect of the design was to make a practical, user-friendly area inspired by Zion and Breen's New York Pocket Park, a small secluded space in the hustle and bustle of a busy city to unwind. 
Taking it a step further, my design takes inspiration from Philadelphia's Ridge Avenue Pocket Park, which turns a pocket park into a place for recreational and community activities. A stage area at the bottom of the site is a secluded space that makes possible for different recreational activities, including yoga, outdoor cinema screening with removable beanbag seating, ping pong, and a quiet area on which to escape. Later on, encouraging local artists to paint murals on the wall, like in Ridge Avenue Park. In Leeds, the Corten steel, which weaves throughout the design, gives a nod to the history of the site and surrounding area representing the steel and iron industry. The new design incorporates local schemes including feed leads with the planting of decorative edible herbs. Furthermore, it encourages the cycle to work scheme by making the bike store more attractive and appealing to use. The large open meeting spaces are designed to host stalls for local farmers markets and crafts in the community. West One, hosting these type of events, will live up to the phrase, a place to thrive, and create a talking point in the community.